So PC62 was cloned in my laboratory many years ago and was later found to be a substrate of autophagy. But it's much more than that. It's actually a detoxifying molecule. When autophagy is functional, P62 brings uh, polyubiquitinated misfolded proteins, damaged organelles to the autophagosome for degradation and therefore to detoxify cells from react reactive oxygen species. But during that process, the creation of nutrients serves for P62 to also sense the nutrient state of the cell and activate mTOR and proliferation. So most cancer cells, particularly hepatocytes in the liver, they have upregulated P62 as a consequence of liver damage or autophagy inhibition or oncogenic stimuli. And therefore, P62 plays a role in activating mTOR prolifer mediated proliferation and at the same time, it detoxifies uh, cells from reactive oxygen species. So the combination of two things, reduction in cell death and promoting survival through NERF2 autophagy and the activation of the mTOR pathway promotes the whole proliferation that accounts for, uh, for example, hepatocellular carcinoma initiation and progression. Well, there are many ways you can do that. Uh, P62 is a scaffold protein and obviously it's not uh, draggable. However, P62 binds to a number of kinases and transcription factors, activators, that can be targeted. For example, P62 binds a kinase called MAC kinase 3 that my laboratory show is critical for the activation of mTOR. And there is an active program in my institute uh, aimed to blocking MAC kinase 3 activity as part of the P62 MAC kinase 3 complex in order to prevent mTOR activation. So the idea is that if you block mTOR, then you will block the capacity of these cells to grow. On the other hand, you can also block the ability of P62 to bind with the autophagosome, or the ability of P62 to bind other adapters, like this protein called KIP1 that regulates NERF2, that is a ROS scavenger. So we have a, a program in the Institute aimed at identifying molecules that will target P62 at different mechanisms, and we expect that those uh, in vivo will produce uh, redu reduction in tumorigenesis. We know that it happens in vitro, in cell culture, and we know that at least in, in genetically modified mouse models, uh, the loss of PC2 prevents hepatocellular carcinoma. Right, exactly. So the idea is to have a different tar different hits that PC2 is controlling. We, we, we want to really block each of them differently based on or instructed by the data we have in the uh, knockout mice. Actually, uh, that you don't know until you run a, a phase one clinical trial, but the interesting thing is that the, the knockout mice, they don't have a uh, toxic phenotype. They are perfectly normal. And the idea is that the only thing they have is that they develop obesity uh, you know, over time. But the idea is that uh, PCT2 under normal conditions can be made redundant by other autophagy adapters like NBR1, and then uh, this function is really, P62 is not so, so essential. However, in cancer, P62 is dramatically upregulated, whereas the other autophagy adapters are not. Then in cancer, it becomes absolutely essential. So cells become addic addicted to P62, whereas normal cells, they don't care because they have other adapters. No, we are still far away from that. Uh, we have heats, we have lead compounds, uh, but this is the aspiration is to really go to the clinic, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, right now, uh, we have a lot of preclinical data, very solid uh, mouse models of different cancers. Right now, we are much more interested in the progression from NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, to non-alcoholic steatitis and hepatocellular carcinoma, because in our country, uh, as you know, obesity is an ep epidemic. And one of the consequences of obesity is the development of uh, fatty liver. And fatty liver is the first stage towards hepatocellular carcinoma as a risk factor. So we are trying to use P62, or better, to block P62 to try to prevent the transition from NAFLD or steatosis to uh, hepatitis and from hepatitis to hepatocellular carcinoma. Once the hepatocellular carcinoma is established, blocking P62, we have shown, is sufficient to prevent progression of the tumor. So we are addressing P62 in those three levels.